I've done it. I've discovered the greatest investment opportunity that nobody's talking about, and it all has to do with one question. Do people believe in the climate crisis? Yes or no? Yeah. Pretty much everyone does. Climate, no matter where you look, no matter what politics you agree with, you're bombarded with the idea that the planet is doomed. News, media, government, Greta Thunderbird. I'm not here to pick a side. I'm not here to get canceled. What I'm here to do and say is before the carbon emissions start choking out dolphins, before ocean ice caps melt and flood your beachfront house, before land scarcity and water shortages trigger World War III, this crisis, pretty good opportunity to make money. Listen. I'm in the middle of making a movie right now and I caught wind of all this going on and I had to spend some time checking it out, get some data. I'll have a movie update that I'll save for the end of this video, but here's how this climate thing works. Because climate is such a hot topic, money, innovation, government incentives, they're all rushing to solve this. This rush is fertile soil for business growth. Therefore, climate crisis equals potential investing gold mine, which is good news for you because in this state-of-the-art document holder, with the help of the Finova research team, I've prepared a $20,000 dossier on this exact gold mine. I'm gonna explain this to you right now for free. I might even tell you something you could invest in personally. Investing is simple. You take a small amount of money, invest it into healthy, growing, ideally cash-flowing businesses, and then your money grows too. So the game is finding businesses that are gonna grow, or better yet, markets that are gonna grow. Warren Buffett, he did this with the entire United States economy, betting on great businesses, then he became a bazillionaire. If you'd invested in the Chinese economy 30 years ago, you'd have grown your money by a trillion percent. That's just cold hard data. Growth is the game. So what's gonna grow next? Lots of things, but here's one. Everyone around the world is being told the same story. Earth's going to hell. And if you look around, it's pretty easy to go like, yeah, I guess I can see that. Summers feel hotter, plastic bottles always washing up on the beach. But whether the change is true or not, most people believe it and want to solve it. So they devote attention to it. As more attention moves towards the climate and fixing the crisis, the more money moves towards green businesses. Example, governments, they develop policies and incentives to promote the competitiveness of green businesses. Consumers, with increasing environmental concerns, maybe because of all the media bombarding them, maybe not. They're concerned, so they spend their dollars on green products. Tech innovations and advancements continue to trend in a green direction, increasing cost competitiveness and growth of those green products. All while this is happening, non-renewable energy sources are dwindling. Oil, they say, is running out. Or put more simply, there's a lot of money behind green and that money's going somewhere, somewhere that you can invest. Where does that leave you and me? Before we get to my 500 IQ genius investing strategy here, let's look at this cutting edge data my team of Chinese forced labor has put together. It's actually an investment banker that I paid to listen to my theories and then spend a month researching before finally slapping this 35 page dossier right on my desk. So this $20,000 report shows something staggering about the average person. 89% of people have changed their purchasing behavior towards buying more sustainable products. Solar panels, electric cars, recycled plastic chicken barns, the list is endless. Nearly 90% of Gen X customers would pay an extra 10% for a sustainable version of a product. A rise of 64% over the last two years. And it's not really surprising. 74% of adults are worried, deathly worried about climate change. Whether you personally care or not, the overwhelming majority is worried. So. What do you think they're gonna do with their money? They're gonna spend it on products that make them worry less. Same goes for voting. The more people who worry about climate, the more people will vote for green politicians. The more green politicians get elected, the more incentives and subsidies will go towards green businesses. It's a cycle, all driven by the same worry. That's why green energy consumption is flying up. That's why investment in clean energy is a major priority. That's why grants and businesses, uh, those opportunities in green areas, they're through the roof. That's why tax credits are everywhere. Like every major country, which you would see if you had this report. So 
it's all gonna make green businesses grow. The more news the climate gets, the more worry, the more growth. Just like masculinity, Catholicism, matcha tea. Green is trending, green is growing. It has a clear consumer motivation, a cultural and political force driving it, and a competitor that, at worst, is staring down the barrel of extinction, and at best, just isn't really in the favor of the public mind anymore, but it gets even better. Not for the oil people, for you. All the money and attention to, headed towards green businesses is actually making it more competitive. Take a look at this. The levelized cost of electricity for wind and solar has been consistently declining for the last decade. The average levelized cost of energy for wind and solar is now lower than coal and gas, meaning they're already economically competitive. And considering that fossil fuel reserves are predicted to be depleted within like a few hundred years, their cost is only gonna go up. Picture this, you're the average consumer, not you. The average consumer who's taken in average media, believe in it, the average person. Which would you choose? The cheap, efficient product or the one that you're told is choking turtles to death? You're gonna take the one that feels better, feels more moral, and that you're told is going to create a sustainable future, which means Every single factor that feeds into green businesses, green products, green energy, strongly suggests that it's gonna grow and grow big time. That brings me to you. If you've watched this far, you either agree with me or maybe you worry about climate change a lot and wanna help, or maybe you just want more cash in your bank by any means necessary. I don't judge. You do you. Here's the plan, either way. If you wanna make money from this, you need to do one of two things. One, you can invest in a market tracker that tracks performance of green companies. This will grow your money if the green market grows. Two, you can investigate specific green companies and see if they're a good value investment long-term. Let's start with number one. This is easy. Companies like Vanguard have a whole bunch of ESG funds. These are ethical funds that track companies that promote being good in the world. There's also iShares that has the Global Clean Energy Fund. For 99% of you, this is gonna be enough. It's gonna allow you to invest your money in the green businesses, feel good about yourselves, and make some money, maybe. But if you wanna go even further, there's number two, investing in specific businesses. Take this example, Next Era Energy, a company my Indonesian sweatshop outsourcing team brought to my attention. Thanks, guys. Next Era, they've been around since 1984, the year that Macintosh. We shall prevail. Next era has a lot of what my Polyponesian sweatshop team tells me are good signs for an investment. This could be summed up as it's a healthy business. I know, groundbreaking. This revolutionary investing strategy that I'm soon to patent, it's really important to understand the details. Next era is the market leader in electric utility holdings. The company has a reasonable PDE of like 14-ish. Profits are healthy, they've got a solid debt rating. They've also been in business for a while, so they're not, they're not like a flash in the pan startup. They're only blip that I've seen is their 2016 donation to Jeb Bush. Please clap. But hey, nobody's flawless. They also got hit recently from an analyst rating. I think that that could mean it's just a better opportunity than before, but that's up to you. Now listen, I'm gonna put this $20,000 dossier in the description of this video totally free. I'm never gonna do this again, so if you want more data to help you feel smart, that'll be linked for free below. There's of course plenty of risk in investing in any business. Page 35 of that report lists like 10 different risks. So check it out or don't. If you were a Finova member, you would already have heard of NextEra Energy and you'd be up 20% on your investment. Movie update. There was an issue in production, so we're a bit behind schedule. So I thought I'd give you guys a behind the scenes look at one of our sets. We actually built this in the upstairs of my airplane hangar. You're gonna love this damn movie.